Hi everyone, now this is the, the fly I'm going to be tying. Uh, basically what they call this is the, the, lead, the lead wing coachman. It's basically named after the colour. You see the wing being grey, lead coloured. Uh, but basically it's, uh, it's an old coachman pattern. Uh, or basically the one of the original patterns. Now it's a, it's a great fly both in locks and rivers. Uh, basically I'm going to tie two or three. So anyway, thread I'm going to be using. We tie size mainly tens. Uh, sorry, we can tie size tens, but twelves uh, and fourteens are two the two of the better sizes. Uh, you can tie whatever size you like. So, but anyway, quite simply, start at the eye. Now it is black thread I'm using, and this is a, a uni thread in eight o. Now on the way down, I'm actually going to tie in some gold tinsel for the tag. So it's just a basically a flat tinsel. You catch at the top, or just this area. And there's a couple of ways you can form the tag. One of the strongest is to wind your thread to the barber hook. Just bring your thread back up about, say, two mil. And then, because this is a tinsel, I can actually lay it one turn in front of the other, nice and tight. And you're looking round about four turns or so, maybe five. And you trim this the length of the body, it's just there. That's fine. Now, to protect the body, I'm going to use a peacock curl on it. I'm going to use a fine gold uh, wire. Again, I'm going to catch this in full length. Now, I'm just going to wind up. Now, there's a few ways you could tie in peacock curl. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get three strands, three lengths of the peacock curl. Just going to make sure the tips are lined up. I'm going to catch it at the top, pull it in, give yourself plenty of room up here, right, good. So you've got your hackle on the head length, so you're looking at a couple of mil anyway. So I'm going to wind towards the tag, oh, just lost the hair all there. Look, just don't worry about it, just carry on, don't waste it, it'll be, it'll be fine. And then I'm just going to come back up, just to thicken the body. There we are. And then we tie off. Right, I'm going to bring my wire up. This is important. This is what's going to hold everything together. You want to bring it through, making sure it's catching the fibre. And then, just before I bring it up, I usually like to stroke the fibres back to the hair with my fingers. And then bring up the wire, put a 90 degree bend into it but now that locks in the turns stops it drawing back when you're tying it in it's going to bend and break it away there we are that's fine now for the, the hackle now you could use uh, like a furnace or even black there's quite a few hackles you could use in this fly now what I'm doing here is I'm actually using up, this is a grouse wings, not many left, but some of the feathers, I'm just going to use them up. You got a lovely mark on these feathers. Uh, I've got this one of them's ready just to peel away the fibre. Now I don't be shy with the fibre on these, especially in the law flies. I like a good hackle on them. You can reduce it if you wish. Make it a bit thinner, a bit finer. Now what I'm going to do here is just locate the tip of the feather with my fingers after removing the fluff. Just draw it back. Just trim it so we've got enough to tie it in. Now it's important that you wax your thread here so you've got the grip to hold the feather as well as it gives it a base of thread to, to sort of sit on and this stops it slipping. You know, three or four turns. I'm going to use my hackle pliers here. Now you could strip one side and wind it so you get a perfect hackle. And you can get a perfect hackle by doing that. That's, that's nice. But as long as you do a turn in front of the other here and then make sure you tie it in. I'm going to follow up with the thread, catching the, the stem with a 90 degree bend into it. Just trammeled a wee bit there, I'm just going to tidy it up. There we are. 
I usually just break it off. So there's a, your fly, there's a, that's a nice fly in itself. I mean you could stop at that. It's like grouse and peacock, uh, which is uh, always a good pattern for any fly. So I'm just going to put wax on my thread, ready for my wing. Now for the wing, I'm going to be using, I'll show you, this is uh, the mallard. This is just the, basically mallard up, and these are the primary feathers from the wing. Uh, so we need a right and a left. I'm just trimming it away on either side. Uh, just making sure they're the same length or the same sort of thickness. It's fine. Just checking. It's fine. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually tie them with the natural curve of the feather coming into the, the hook, which basically is going to show you the the inside of the feather, which is going to be in the out. So, so I'm going to tie this on. So I've got them both lined up. So you're seeing the underside. So I'm going to fold it down the length just to the back of the hook. So fold it. Okay, make sure your thread, my thread's waxed, so all I have to do is pinch and loop it on to keep your fingers nice and tight, to your thread into your finger and thumb, and then control that coming through your fingers to meet the hook. And you keep doing it again. Just watch your hackle, I'll just call my hackle there. When you're happy with it, you may come a wee bit away from you, to just bring it back, give it another turn or two. That'll do it. Now, my fine feathers here, it's going to come in. You've got a nice cut. That's how you do it. Oops. Now, what I like to do is bring my thread to the eye and then build the thread, turns up into these cut ends. Now, as I say, the wax, the thread's wax, so there's plenty of grip. Once you're happy, then you can whip finish. Just wind down three or four turns. And then you can then take away the thread. See my wing sitting. Hack was okay. I mean this is a very soft feather, a feather, eh, sorry, hackle. Uh, it's got a lot of movement in it. That's why I'm using them up as well. Seeing how the wing's sitting. That's fine. And then, just a coat of varnish. All the way around. I'm just using it with the brush. You apply the varnish whatever way you feel suits yourself. I've just used the brush for many years. Now probably, I mean one coat's fine, if you want a nice shiny head, a couple of coats, and there we are. And that's your lead winged uh, coachman, a uh, nice old pattern, nice pattern, nice to tie, a great fishing fly, and uh, as I say, tie in different sizes, but 12s and 14s are the two main sizes I would fish, some that represents, it will represent a few uh, so flies on the water, uh, mainly here I would say like a very beetle-like pattern but in the river it could even represent some olives that's coming off so anyway I hope you enjoyed that and again if you enjoy the videos please subscribe, um, it does help and thank you for watching <laughs>